In this video, I'm going to be making a creepy Halloween bunny cake. I start by stacking circles of vanilla cake with layers of salted caramel buttercream in between for the body and for the head. I make the head wider than the body to give it a bobblehead-like feel. Once the cakes are stacked, I go ahead and just trim away the excess and carve out the shape of his body so he has a little bit of a belly and then it narrows up towards his neck and then I create a large, round, bulbous head for the top again to give it that bobblehead feel. Then I add a full layer of ganache all around the cake to trap in all the moisture, to harden it and give it a nice surface to add the fondant on top of, and also I sculpt the body just a little bit more to create the final shape. I form these sockets for his eyes, and then I carve out the bridge of his nose and the two circles that create his mouth, or you could even call them little bunny cheeks. Once I'm done with the ganache, I roll out some violet purple fondant that I colored and I start covering the bottom of his feet. I use a bristled brush to start giving a fur texture by just dabbing it into it um, all around, creating that texture. I give him little toes with some white fondant, just little oval circles pressed together. And I cover the center of his body with the violet purple and again, going around with my hard bristled brush and just press it in all around to create that fur texture and because he's a creepy Halloween bunny he's getting stitches down the front of him I'm cutting out some areas where we're gonna see some skin some bloody skin underneath so I'm cutting out those areas right right now and making some markings then I cover his face with the purple fondant just press it all around fill it in press it into the socket make sure those shapes of the nose and the mouth are really popping out and then I go in again with my bristle brush, creating the fur texture all around, cutting out the shapes for where his bloody skin is popping through. I add some markings on the back for where his stitches are going to be. And then I add on his arms. I just shape them in the fondant and press them in with two dowels on each side with some piping gel to make sure they really stick. Then I take some nude colored fondant. I fill in the areas where I cut out for his skin to be showing underneath. So first I go in just with this nude fondant and press it in and cut it all around so it fits perfectly into those little areas that I cut. And then later on, I'm going to paint it. Now I'm adding that nude color onto his little mouth cheeks as well. So those two little circles. And I give him a cute little pink nose because he's a little bunny. And now to give him some depth, I'm going in with just some petal dust all around. Some black, some purple, a little bit of pink. Um, and just giving him some dimension and depth by with some shading. So just brushing it on dry. No um, liquid used. And then I made some corn syrup blood, so it's just some corn syrup with gel color, and I'm painting it in onto all those skin areas um, and where his stitches are going to be because he got a little banged up. He's a creepy bunny. He's been up to no good, and he needs a little blood. And for the areas where he got stitches, I just cut out little strips of black fondant and placed them in across the slits that I made, pressed them into those little dots that I made um, so they look like they're going into the skin. And I made the ears separately and let them dry. They were just the purple fondant with some pink fondant on the front. They're attached on with two dowels and I put a little blood painted on the front of them. And then for the eyes I just rolled two circles of white fondant and pressed them into the eye sockets like so. For the teeth I cut out some white fondant and gave it a little indent in the center for those buck teeth. And then with some gel color, some black gel color, I'm just painting the eyes and giving it some shading around the sockets to give them some depth. And to really make the eyes come to life, I give a little white highlight between each black pupil. I cover the board with some green fondant to contrast the purple of the bunny, really make it pop, and put a ribbon around, a green ribbon around the base just to match it. And that is our last step. And with that, we've completed our creepy Halloween bunny. I did make this for Halloween. You can see I have even had some blood just dripping onto the base. And I really love the mix of creepy and cute on this cake. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And you can head over to cakingart.com for full courses on how to make my cakes. Thanks for watching.